Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the MIAA Division I Varsity Boys Rugby final game with your Belmont Marauders taking on the Eagles of St. John's Preparatory School. I'm Peter Rosenmeyer, and I'm here with my colleague David Hamer for today's uh, Today's Hello. exciting game. Thank you, Peter. Yeah. What a great afternoon. Lovely Beautiful weather. afternoon. The shower has just gone through. Bright blue sky. Cool things down a little bit. And uh, looks like Belmont's going to kick off here. Put the chase on and... try to pin the St. John's boys back in their own end and see what we can do. John Campbell, the All-American for Belmont to kick off. Checks with his team. We are ready to go. There's the kick, a high kick. Handled by St. John. Brings it hard ahead to the 20. Rucked well there. St. John swings it out. Good tackle by Belmont. And again, skip pass out to the far wing. St. John maintaining phases, bobbling the ball there. Belmont, with good line speed, good defensive pressure. And it'll be a knock on with a scrum down to Belmont. On the uh 20 yard line, Peter. Gosh, started quickly. <laughs> the speed of the ball at the moment. Um, St. John's prep was good. But as you said, it's quick up on the line. First scrummage. St. John's with a big push, actually. Belmont caught on their heels. But knocked on. On. So the reverse now. So a scrummage now to uh, St. John's. I'm not sure what the weights are, St. John seems to have a slightly bigger pack than, uh, than Belmont, just to the eye. Historically, that's true, but the uh, front row of Belmont came on, <laughs> Nori, Chris Lynch, and Max, and, uh, sorry, um, and Jake. Uh, Jake Parsons. Yeah. Uh, very experienced, very solid. Yeah. And uh, get a big push from behind by Max and Paul Muser. So St. John controls the ball, runs ahead. Good tackle, Good tackle there. there. Who's that number four? Paul, was Paul, it? Paul yes. Yes. Good defense by Belmont so far. Belmont's uh, but stolen the ball. Yes, not there it that. is. And, and there is Jake, Jake Parsons. Running hard ahead. He's a big boy, Jake. Wow. Very hard to take, take down when he gets ahead of steam. <laughs> A little confusion little at the there. breakdown. Modi just uh, cleaned up again. Move. And Jake picks and goes. Ah. Penalty to Belmont. Not releasing. Not releasing. So John Campbell will have a go at touch here. And he Puts the ball uh, right Fair down distance. at about the <laughs> yeah. yeah, we mentioned this earlier, so. Peter, this, uh, this field incredibly wide for perhaps from what uh, some folks are used to playing on. Certainly Harris Field at uh, Belmont, the lines we use are, are not the same soccer field lines that are being used today. Yeah. It's going to play into it, the extremely wide field. Belmont with the throw here on about the 10-meter uh, line. And a great one. Bring it down. Taken. Good mall by Belmont. Is that Connor Shea that takes that yes, ball? Yes, Connor Shea took the ball cleanly. Belmont rucked over. Yeah. It's out. Yeah. Must be offside. Yep. And offside is called. Quick ball. There's Sam. Try. With a try. Good awareness by Sam Harris. By Moody. 
get that ball in play very quickly while St. John was getting organized and to put it over the try line for the first points of the game. Belmont striking early, which is exactly what they wanted to do. We've seen that all season from Belmont, the, uh, an eagerness to take the ball quickly, particularly at the, at the, the, uh, at the penalty. You would Some think other teams would know now. It, it shows you how difficult it is to defend. Yes. The defending team has to get back 10 meters, so uh, you know, at this rate they were going to be having to stand on their try line and then uh, almost then a free run for anybody that wants to try to, to go for it. John Campbell with the uh, attempt at two points here. John lines it up. And it's through. Beautiful kick. So that makes the score. Belmont 7, St. John Prep nothing. Just, uh, just about five minutes in. Just five minutes in. Uh, so uh, Unlike American football, the, the team that is, scores in, Belm in uh, rugby uh, will receive the kick. People have been talking to me endlessly about the inherent unfairness of that, but uh, it's, uh, okay. Handled there, Armin kicks again, bobbled by the 15 of St. John Prep, and there's the whistle, blown dead for the knock-on, and we'll have a scrum down to Belmont in the middle of the field here. It did. Uh, it was good. Belmont got a, got away with that one in some in some respects. That uh, ball was teed up there for the for John's prep to to attack from the middle of the park. So uh, need some luck as well to win a game. Indeed. So an ideal place for a scrummage in the middle of the park. Players lined up on both sides for Belmont. Belmont, but it's lost, lost the ball. Prep puts a big push on that scrum. Get the ball out wide. Well tackled there on the far side of the field. They bring it back again. Big forward, Big forward taking the ball in. There's the kick across the field. Nicely taken. Gosh. Oh, takes them, calls for the mark there. Calls for the mark. Are you going to say? We don't, we're don't see a lot, a lot of that. A lot of people watching at home may, may not know what a mark is. It certainly has changed over the time, but now is, is after the ball's been caught, you can put your arm up in a, a bent elbow and a call for the mark, and that gives you a free kick effectively from the place at which you caught the ball. Back in the day, that used to be a terrifying call to make, but uh, nowadays it's a, a little bit easier. Yeah. So if this ball, you've seen plenty of uh, penalties kick to, uh, kick to touch. Uh, if this goes straight out now, this free kick, then the... Uh, the ah. And that was good by the referee. You see what he's done? John Campbell was step, stepping up to take that kick. Back on the it, has to, so it has to be the uh, has to be the player that called the mark that takes the kick. And that hasn't gone to touch. Number well, 15 with a chance 15. to catch. Takes it. Oh, oh. tackled well there. Beautiful kick. Joe, Joe Joe Altamari cleans the ball. Sets it well, and there's Jake Parsons bringing the ball again. So Belmont here with a pretty solid foundation. There goes John. What a strong. Taking two or three players with him. And well rucked, well cleaned by Belmont, and Moody ready to deliver to Connor Shea. Takes it hard into contact. Oh, stolen, not stolen. Stolen, but in the, in the on. try, knocked on there. So it'll be scrummed down to Belmont again in midfield. Great attacking position. So Belmont with the put in. Familiar territory back on the line, but that scrum's and collapsed. That scrum has collapsed. So the ref's going to ask for that to, to be reset. St. 
St. John scrum really looking uh, very strong here in the early going. Just give a shout out to the rest of the pack. There's uh, the three members at the back there, the back row, uh, Mohammed Abdel, Salam, Joe, and Connor Shea. You've seen Connor Shea a couple of times already carrying the ball and uh, the line out, free kick. So hooking early, presumably, from... Uh, oh, and Connor John. takes the ball quickly. Come on, huh? Get out of this brick again! Bel Belmont fan unhappy that the play got called dead. Just get rid of me out the kids or you! Is it? And they give to Jake. Towers the ball to the 45, to the 43. Presents well. Nice. Oh, game. grub oh. kick through. St. John handles it well, and the 15 finds some space. Passes it out. But uh, Belmont defended well there, not going there. forward at the moment, St. John's prep. Yeah, they've got the ball again, recycled. Big number two for St. John Prep, Nick Barrett carrying the ball. And a penalty to Belmont. So Belmont with a penalty. And St. John Prep player. No, I think the, uh, the touch judge is making sure that the players know that the... Uh, Oh, and the, and the coach, who was, I think, wandered out onto the field there for a moment. Ah, not sure what's, uh, that's 10 minutes in. A little conference, a little conference going on here. Yeah, not sure what's some, going on. Perhaps some, uh, perhaps some blood. Yeah, that could be. Looks like the number 11 for St. John Prep getting a little attention. And uh, so we've seen the power on J in John Campbell's kicking already. So now he gets another chance in the middle of the field. And he lines it up to kick for yards. And another nice one puts Belmont uh, again around the 10. So it'll be line out to Belmont, playing in at the 10. I'm just waiting here a minute. Uh, John's kicks are so long, he's put quite a few outside the, uh, the perimeter at the moment. Here we've got a ball. So everybody so in this line out. So this is uh, Chris Lynch, the ball. sophomore, playing great rugby. Little sloppy there, but cleaned up by Belmont. Rucked well. Moody to John, to Sam Harris crashing through. Sam, good groundwork. They're right on the goal line. And a five yard And a five scrum. meter scrum called. That was good play there. John Campbell taking the ball into contact and then passing behind yeah. the player yep. to running in Sam Harris. With a completely straight line. Oh, five meter scrum. See if Belmont can get the big push here. Joe Altamari at number seven. Uh, not his usual position. He's playing it very well. Connor takes the ball quickly off. Tackled there at the one. The pick, Kamar, goes over the pack. And again. Held up. Held up. So, so we'll do the scrum again. So uh, number 11 is back on as a number 24 now. So uh, something happened there. So scrum down to Belmont here at the five. And again, prep with a big push. But the ball won, struck well by Belmont. John Campbell. 
Yes. In for the try. And the Belmont All-American showing his stuff. <laughs> Little dummy pass. Nice move. Almost and powers it straight ahead. Almost impossible from that distance out. Yeah, really hard to stop. And he'll take the kick for extra points. One thing particularly on the video will show just how quick they were onto that ball, how flat that ball was passed, and then uh, all four on that line out uh, on, in the, of the backs were at full pace. Yeah. Perhaps you won't see it apparently, but uh, it was a great score. John Campbell with the conversion attempt at least. Looks to be an easy one for him, although there's never any guarantees with a rugby ball. And he takes his time. And it's through. It is. And that makes the score. Uh, Belmont 14, St. John's Prep 0. It almost looks like, uh, particularly because of the angle we saw that at, with all three or four of them, I know everybody's going to be running quickly, but with all three or four of them looking menacing, defense is then yes. completely in sixes and sevens on who exactly to cover. Yep. So the Belmont boys score again and will receive the ball again. Come on, Fleming, make a difference. Great kick there by the, uh, by the touch judge. Touch judge, yep, nice foot. <laughs> Now we have two balls, and the ref's, oh, and the refs, the refs getting, getting on the into act it. as well. Yes, kicking tennis, as, kicking it's tennis sometime, yeah. as it's sometimes called. And here's the kick from St. John Prep. Nice. High ball, right against the sideline, the 14. They get it out. Sam clears. Oh, lost, oh, it. lost it. St. John Prep. Yeah. And forced out of bounds by an alert Belmont squad including Max Baskerville, Joe Altamari, so it'll be uh, Belmont line out. This time on their own 10-yard uh, line. And here's Chris with the throw, Max with the clean catch. Not straight. Not to have gone straight. Oh. So the ref certainly is in the best position for those calls. Absolutely. Pretty windy out here. May affect it as well. Go, boy. Watch it in. So, so, in actual fact, that's unusual. I would have thought uh, St. John's might have gone for the scrummage there, but they've gone to redo the line. So, in, th in that penalty, not straight, you have a choice. and. Uh, Five-man line out for St. John. Taps the ball back to the seven. Comes out to the 10. Powers ahead to the back to the 10-meter line. Break down there. Belmont defense set well. The five to the one. To the four-meter mark. And there's the four met. Driven back. The Belmont crowd likes the defense. Good tackle there by John. They forced the penalty. When you play good defense like that, you can definitely force those penalties. And we'll uh, get a chance to get some breathing room here. John Campbell asking for the 10 meters. Oh, I saw he's going to catch that. No coaching from this side. So, penalty was not releasing, I believe. Not releasing, yeah. So that was a great tackle by John Campbell. Great tackle, great defense, goal line defense, and uh, it'll be St. John's line out. No, no, it was a penalty. Oh, sorry, it's a penalty, so it's a Belmont line out at the 25. Max Baskerville, clean. Max straight, Max straight, Max straight. <laughs> 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 so, 
So, scrum down again to uh, St. John Prep. Because the ball's called not straight again, and a couple of people in the Belmont crowd don't like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, maybe don't understand, Peter. The, um, the, uh, but the referee is definitely in the best position for that. No doubt. 45 degrees isn't necessarily the best position to, to know and if something's straight or not. Ball struck well and out by St. John Prep, out to their back line. Center crashes through, met there by Belmont. Not releasing and again. again. So Good John. defense. Yep. And another talking back to the referee. And, and a yellow card here. The ref's taking on stand for nothing. So that's their, uh, looks like their number nine, their scrum half. So the referee. Jack uh, Fietz, Fietz, Fietz. Goes off to the sin bin for 10 minutes and uh, so the uh, very clear in rugby. Uh, you don't say anything to the referee. No, you let your captains do the talking and they better do it politely. Yep, you better and say sir after whatever you say. Whatever you say. Um, but uh, so now that uh, ended with. Uh, with Belmont a man advantage at the moment. So Belmont going with the four-man line here. Connor rips the ball, a little bit sloppy. Knocked forward is the call. And we'll have a scrum to St. John Prep at the 40. So Crouch, bind, set the call, and here comes the ball. Ball's out, eight man takes it to the 10, to the nice. 15, coming at pace, who finds the gap. Good tackle. Great tackle. Armin with a great tackle there. That was a great tackle, yes. But a penalty to St. John Preps, they, they take it quickly to the big number two. They find another. So I think uh, not not ten. The not refs ten. called them back. Not ten. Yep. The refs called them back because presumably that wasn't taken from the mark. Yes. I presume. Have to tap the ball through the mark. Go for the scrummage. Okay, viewers. This is you're learning a lot of things today. We all are. The presence of mind here for St John's Prep to call for the scrummage. There is. Pretty clear on their intentions. Mm -hmm. It's a good call. And with the number nine out, I would guess that the eight man would take take the ball every time from the back of the scrum. Yes, it's number nine's out, is it? Mm -hmm. Scrum half mm -hmm. left. Mm -hmm. No. Ten steps in. Fly half. Yeah. Yeah. And St. John Prep. Yeah. Finds the try zone on the far side of the field with some nice ball movement to the outside. Belmont couldn't cover. So at the 20 minute mark, St. John Prep 5, Belmont 14, and uh, going to try for extra points here. So I guess the. Uh I mean, it's funny uh, when a player is uh, dismissed from the field, it has a curious effect on some games. This one certainly has seemed to spur St. John's Prep on a little bit. As Peter said, 15 minutes to go. It's a tough kick here for the, uh, for the kicker for St. John's. Yep. Of course, in rugby, the, the ball comes directly out from where the try was touched down. And this one on the far side, there's the kick. It's up, and it's not good. Not good. 
So Belmont maintains a nine point advantage here and will kick, kick to prep. So into the last 15 minutes. Nobody's taking it uh, in a, any hurry. John Campbell now with the ball. Belmont crowd urging their team on. Want them to get down quickly under the ball. Make the hit. And there's the kick. It's high, it's up. Right around the 20. Nicely taken. Well taken by the number five. Good hit there. St. John Prep cleans well, spins it out. Is that uh, number two again? Yeah, for number two, I believe. <laughs> He's a good player. He's a very good player, strong runner. Goes out. It's a good line speed by Belmont, up quickly. Making the tackles, and the defense by Belmont holding well here. That's the number three. And a St. John Prep kicks. Okay, this is interesting if that goes over that line. Oh. And it doesn't. Belmont tackled. Almost a penalty try. Definitely a penalty. There's the penalty. No choice, really, but to hold the ball in there. No. So it'll be a goal line stand for Belmont here. Oh, that was a, definitely a tough one. That ball, Very tough, that ball had managed beautiful to go over kick. the line. Uh, Belmont would have been home free. And they call for the scrum again. So a five meter scrum here. Deal of scoring opportunity, attacking opportunity at least here for uh, St. John's. Oh. And uh, held up. Held up, so we'll do the scrum again. Well defended there by Belmont. I think. Let's go, Belmont! So, uh, St. John's still with a player down here. Doesn't yep, uh, dampen any of their uh, attacking. Not momentum here at all, yep. There's Prep with the ball. He's in. And he's in for the try. Oh. 25 minutes into the first half. St. John Prep scores again. That was good play by the number 10. Stand in for stand, uh, standoff. Standing in for the fly, uh, for scrum, scrum half. half yeah. Took the ball in. And Very effective the way he rolled there towards yeah. the line. So the kicker with another chance, but it's uh, still a long way out. <laughs> Momentum swing in this game, <laughs> as in many yes. rugby games, back and forth. Yes, it's. Uh, the fact it seemed to spin on that uh, on someone being ejected. Yes. So it's, uh, it's a strange thing. And that There's the kick, kick is over. Oh, that's good. So it's scoreboard now stands uh, Belmont 14, St. John Prep 12. Very tight contest here with about 10 minutes left in the first half.
So, we need another ball. St. John Prep still down a man. But as you said, David, that doesn't, doesn't seem to be affecting <laughs> him much. Affected. Perhaps the coach will wonder about putting him back on at the right. <laughs> So, Belmont to kick. John Campbell. Definitely issuing a call here. If this one will go just to 10 meters or as normal, put it a little deeper. Yeah, really it deep. goes deep. Oh, and good cover by Armin. There's the counter by St. John. Nice. Yeah. Tackling without the ball. Tackling without the ball. So. Oh. The 10 minute play. Dangerous moment on. there. And uh, John Campbell again will kick for touch. And that has not gone. That will not go out. So that is now a 22, a 22 meter drop kick. Here they come. Belmont so trying to cover the field here, and they the, do. Because you don't have a 22 meters, it's taken literally from the 22. It's, uh, it's marked there. Oh, oh. Nicely played. well played by St. John Pratt. Good tackle. Good tackle by Belmont. Belmont, Belmont had the ball. And yeah. playing in the ruck. Hands in the ruck very clearly. St. John Prep. And we'll get a penalty to Belmont. That's it, Belmont! The call from uh, Safe was pretty clear from, yep, the, uh, from, from the coaches. coaches. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Nothing wrong with that. So it'll be Belmont line out at about the 30. So Belmont, Belmont looking like they're putting yeah. their full line in. Yep. Knocked forward, it looks that, like. Uh, yep. Knocks forward, yep. So scrum to Belmont, knocked forward by St. John Prep. So St. John's uh, coming into this game definitely competing at these lineouts. That's uh, oh. it's been such a, a good source of ball for Belmont this season. Yes. And it definitely uh, looks like Disrupting they've been working it on it. quite a yep. bit. Two ver very, very talented rugby teams playing here this afternoon. Wow. St. John Prep again pushing, getting the drive on Belmont. So Belmont, uh, definitely that front three is, uh, and the whole eight man is uh, under a lot of pressure. St. John's very well drawn. No wonder they've been going for the uh, scrummage in there yep. for their penalties. Coach Z exhorting the boys to dig in here, dig in. Clean ball. Oh, nice. Oh, it's obstruction. Oh, cleaned up well by Belmont. Cleaned up well by Belmont. And... Held up. Held up. Five meter scrum. That was great again there. The Beautiful year. awareness. Yeah, exactly. We often talk about that, what makes uh, these teams. We saw it in the, in the girls' final earlier. People thinking sharply and quickly. Instead of just panicking there, John thought, oh, I'll kick that through. There's, there's nobody behind there, and I'll run onto it. Yep. And Rug rugby IQ is very high on both teams and, and intuition about what to do in this precise moment. Again, the Belmont Pack winning the ball. Quick ball through. And Sam uh, Sigarian. Sam Sigarian. Oh. Poached by, uh, poached by St. John Prep. Box kick out. Handled well by Pierre. Yeah. 
St. John Prep attacking. Nicely. Taken nice well defender. there by Armin. There's the ball back, Sam Harris. The nice kick down the sideline. Counter. Okay, number five is offside at the moment. Yeah, well done, John. Yes, John. John knew recognized exactly it, it knew exactly offside. what was happening. <laughs> and just stood his, in there. Just put his shoulder towards yeah. him. My gosh, that smart play. Yes, and Belmont sure with the choice. I'm not sure I'd be confident enough to get tackled by a number five, but uh, he certainly oh. realized the penalty for him doing so. Well, Belmont opts for the scrum at the 24. Well, I guess anything St. John's Prep can do, we can do better. The idea with the scrum, at least, is that all eight yes. defenders, all eight forwards from uh, St. John's Prep are all in one place, and we've already seen the devastating power outside. Yeah. Well, I think Chris Lynch is hooking the ball quite well, uh, despite the drive uh, and the pressure that he's under. That ball, ball comes out again. Yeah. The scrum collapses. And as we've talked about, David, uh, very frequently, the... Uh, as soon as things go wrong in the scrum, the refs will blow it dead. We'll bring it back up. We'll try and do it again here. Don't want to take any chances with guys falling all over each other. Right. Well controlled by Belmont. Nice. And oh my up God. through. There's Sam. <laughs> and 22. 22, surely, yeah. No, they called it a try. No, 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 no 22. 22. 22, and here it comes. So, here it comes. Unlucky. Luckily not done. That was smart thinking. I was smart Only thinking. two people from St. Yep. John's and only maybe one from Belmont reacted to that. I knew what but, was uh, happening there, yeah. I guess the... Uh, yeah, so, so that kick through, again, John Campbell fully aware that the fullback for St. John's is up in the line. Yes. And there's nobody back to nobody cover. Back very, to cover. very aware. All it would have taken was another bounce on that ball. So Belmont scrum at the 30. Connor, running strong. Countered there by St. John. Ball comes out. Tackled by Sam Segarian. Sam Harris there. Ball won by St. John. Max. High tackle called. No. Um. Yes. Yes. Uh, there might have been two of them. There were two. There were two. He's called the first yes. one. His back was turned for the, uh, for the yeah. next one. And St. John kicks for kicks for touch. And touch found at the 45. In the last minute of play here in the first half, very entertaining first half of rugby. Hard fought on both sides. Smart rugby. And uh, the number two for St. John Prep to throw the ball in. That's it. Max disrupts. That's going to be it. So. Yeah, accidentally offside. Offside, accidental. So it'll be scrum down to St. John Prep. That was a great steal. 20 seconds left here. But of course, the clock doesn't control the play, the ref does. <laughs> so while this ball is certainly still stays in play, the whistle isn't going anytime soon. That's hit against the head. One by Belmont. Out. That's a Campbell with the. Kick. Yeah. Covered well there. Oh, caught from behind and tackled. And a penalty to Belmont. 
Taken, no. Taken too quickly. Taken too quickly again. Or at least or not from ref, the same. Ref way. wants some discipline at the at the penalty mark. So, folks, even though that ball has gone dead and the time is up, the uh, the team with the penalty uh, is able to. Uh, carry on with one more phase of play, at least one more phase of play, depending on what happens with this. So, so Belmont line out. On about the 15 yard line. Taken by Connor, Max, met there. But cleaned well by Belmont. Moody spins the ball out. To John, skip pass to John Bravo, goes off a of St. John player. Mo cleans it up, spins it out again. There's Sam Segarian with a little kick through, covered well. And uh, St. John Prep now kicking the ball, kicking out. The ball out. That's the and end of there's the half. The half. We're entertaining so, half. Gosh. 14, two tries apiece, just one conversion. Difference between the teams as we break Peter for the half, and we'll see you all in a few minutes. Don't go away, At folks. the half, <laughs> Belmont, 14. Oh no, he's not. He's on for. Or maybe Mo went into. Right, so. Uh, Peter back again at uh, Curry College. Looks like both teams are ready to go, except they're still missing a ball. It's a very important part of the game. Very important. Very important. And uh, it's not like anybody's in too much of a hurry to get one. Well, here's the touch judge with the big kick. He's going to try it again. So, uh... So, St. John's prep for the kick. Get us going again in this very exciting uh, match already. That's a great kick. Great kick, good cover. Sam Segarian yeah. takes it well. Powers ahead. And there's Big Jake Parsons moving the ball. And sorry, Peter, perhaps you said number 18 is on for Yeah, number Belmont. 18 is on for Belmont. Uh, well, have to, Haven't uh, quite figured out the substitution yet, but we'll, we'll, right. we'll, we'll get, get that back clear to you in a on second. That, folks. John, beautiful move. Beautiful move. Taking well there. There's Paul. Good groundwork. Good. Moves the ball ahead. Sam Harris back inside to Chris Lynch. Who breaks the line and is in. Chris Lynch, beautiful move. Belmont comes right out, puts some beautiful phases together, and Chris Lynch with a fantastic try. Great passing to the inside by Belmont. That was a great way to start a start a second half. That's Chris Lynch. Chris yes. Lynch. So, uh, great break there by uh, John Campbell. Yes. Right in front of us here. Look good. I mean, that's that's been coming those breaks. Uh, he's run very effectively 
So have all the backs actually, and St John's not sure who to cover. Creates that space, and then John is one of the best at uh, being able to exploit those gaps. Sam Segarian setting the, the tone of right off the kickoff, taking the ball yep. hard into contact. Belmont able to set up some nice phases uh, and then make the opportunities happen there. And uh, it's very pretty rugby. John with the conversion attempt. That looks good. So Belmont, for the quick seven points here, just a couple minutes into the second half, and the score is 21, Belmont 12, St. John. And you can bet, uh, you can bet that the Eagles are going to look to come back hard here. Yes. And Belmont will have to be right on their toes. Yeah, we saw that very much in the first half, even when they were down to 14 men. Um, St. John's were actually at their most dangerous. So now, with the restart, number 10. I'm not sure who he is for the Eagles. Do you, uh, Peter? I. Uh, I have uh, oh, oh. Connor Rinklin. There's another yellow card here, I think, yes. Tackling a man in the air. Unfortunately, St. John's are going to go down another player. So, it's another yellow card. Tackling in the air. That's, that's the right call by the ref. I've never heard it clapped before, though. No. <laughs> no. That's uh, so. Again, um, John Campbell kicking for yards, and it'll be Belmont line out at the uh, 48. We should say, folks. I mean, obviously that. Uh, uh, again, another safety concern now. Uh, the players in the air is effectively uh, almost like a goalkeeper in soccer. Really, you're not allowed to tackle that right. the yep. goalkeeper, and so uh, to avoid a nasty fall. So now. We were just talking about St. John's uh, resurgence in the first half. Great oh, catch there. Great catch by Max. Puts the ball out. Bravo. And the chase is on for the ball. Ah, and Sam Harris there to cover. That was great recovery. Beautiful. 24, yes. I think it used to be 11, one of the wingers. And St. John Prep. And the high kick, that ball's going to stay in. Beautiful. Armin covered well there. Great. But rucked by Belmont. Good support. Will Thomas takes the ball forward, does some nice groundwork, and Moody slows everything down here. They spin the ball out. Paul Muser met there. Rucked well by Belmont. And again, setting it up. High tackle. Uh, high tackle by St. John Prep. And Will, Will Thomas knows it. And there's a uh, injured. injured Belmont player, Armin. Armin McCallion down on the far side of the field. Getting tended to by Sarkis. Now the Belmont community owes a great deal to Sarkis, uh, our trainer, who's just uh, always present, attentive, professional. <laughs> Keeps us patched together in a very, very rough game. And Armin's going to get some assistance off the field. And. Uh, be making some uh, substitutions here. Well, I think he's going off, right? So. Uh, uh, no, I know, but there's also, I think, oh, a substitution, substitution coming on right. here. So. so, John Campbell here with the penalty, looking to make some serious yardage. And that hasn't gone. It has gone. Yes! Oh. So, it'll be Belmont line out. On about the 10-yard line. About the 10-yard line. And it looks like uh, Ethan Anderson and Brett Westgate coming on. Ethan subbing uh, Jake Parsons out. Jake's had a very good run around. 50 uh, minutes of rugby. 50 minutes, yeah. And uh, Brett in for the injured uh, Armin.
Belmont controls, looking for the mall. They've got it. They've got the mall. They've got the mall. Oh, Moody met there by the number seven. Knock forward, and it'll be scrum down to prep at the 15. So, uh, yeah, no, sorry, Peter, knock on, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, St. John's ball. Yeah. I was trying, I was, I, I lost concentration there. Yeah, that'll moment. happen. I, yes. I was reiterating what you were saying, not, not questioning it. <laughs> <any. laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so, St. John's, of course, down to 14 Please feel men. free to question. No, no not uh. at all. I was wrong once, you know. Yes. <laughs> But the 80s was a bad decade. <laughs> right. John's with the putting. And... Yes, too many. No. Yeah. So, uh, Belmont, of course, uh, taking a man out of the scrum, yeah? But yeah, because they can do that now because somebody's out. Yeah. yeah. Hold them. There's the kick. Stays in. Brett Westgate handles it well. He keeps his feet. Support is there. Moody picks and goes. And there's the ruck is protected well. Sam Segarian. Taking the ball in well. Taking the ball in well. He's, yep. he's used to play forward, so he's not yeah. not unused to that. John Campbell with a little dummy. Moves the ball well to Harris. Harris into contact. Supported Offside. well there. Offside called. Yep. And again, the ref not allowing the boys to take the ball quickly off the penalty. Right, Asking them to, to find the mark. And John Campbell will kick for kick for yards. Trying to find touch here. And that is and a he great does. Kick. Beautiful kick. It's gonna give Belmont the line out. On the five yard line, I think. Yeah, right around the five. You can see Belmont him getting a, there quickly. Belmont getting there quickly. You see him putting all his concentration into that kick. Important, it doesn't go over the try line when he kicks, yeah. otherwise uh, the ball's uh, turned over. Yeah. <coughs> Beautifully so, done. Uh, ideal opportunity here for Belmont. Yeah, penalty. So deliberate knock-on, deliberate knock-on. Tap, go, go. go. Yes. and... Oh, looks on, good, right on the goal line, Belmont. Look, there's Ethan. He scores the try. Beautiful try. Cleaning the ball well. And then a quick ball out to Ethan Anderson, who was ready for it. And he dove over the try line. Puts the score at 26 to 12, Belmont. With John Campbell looking to add on two more. Got it, John. Uh, Ethan Anderson. Not you, Susan, right? So, uh, John Campbell with the chance of another two points. We've got a great view from here. Yes. Yeah, it's really good kick. Beautiful kick. And it's 28 to 12. Belmont. With 25 minutes left in this match. Wow, there's a lot of time left. And as we saw in the girls' game, that is not a comfortable lead. <laughs> In no, MIA Championship Rugby, these right. teams are talented, tough, yep. and determined. Yep. Almost, uh, yes, yeah, almost the same. The 
So St John still with the, uh, the kickoff, still down a man. There's the kick. Sam Harris slips. Oh, looking for Paul Muser, who dives back to clean the ball. Does it well. And. There's penalty. So again, John Campbell will look to find touch. Cole not rolling away when he's out of four guys. And that ball stays in. Chase there by Joe Altamari. And tackled by Sam Segarian. High, High tackle. tackle called. Come on! Incidental contact in midfield and uh, That's a yellow! Saint, yes, Saint, Saint John no, yes, Saint John fans don't like it. But the penalty given in midfield. Little jawing going on here, and friendly rugby jawing going on between the fans. Brett oh knocks the ball on. So that ball is still eventually out for a St. John's throw. It's a scrum. Oh, knock on. Brett knocked so, it on. Yeah, so it'll yeah. be a scrum down to St. John Prep at the 30. And uh, Belmont Pack with a couple of substitutions in. Let's see how they fare. Prep winning. Balls out to the 14. Tied up. Knocked back. Sam, beautiful tackle. Good cover. The big eight crashes forward. St. John Prep. Out to their one, to the four. Tackled there by Ethan Anderson. Good cover. And another so, penalty to Belmont. Holding on holding again. In, holding it in. Once you're tackled, you really have to release the ball. And St. John Prep has been called several times for that this yep. game. I, uh, St. John seems to have lost a little bit of their spark, no doubt. Affected by the score. Belmont pressure and defense is working well. Yeah. This is also the, the time of the game, uh, David, I always found where fitness really started to show up as a difference. So that yep. the fitter team really is able to, to maintain momentum yep. uh, in the latter yep. fourth of the game. Belmont crowd not losing any enthusiasm. Great Max, throw great throw, Chris to Max. Oh, oh exactly. hit hard there, Will. Hit hard there and knock forward. That was a great tackle in the middle great there. Great tackle. Caught man and ball. So that's a, a scrummage to uh, St. John's. Oh, Belmont, hook one by St. John, the number nine, takes it short side of the field. Great Finds covering the outside tackle man. there by uh, Modi, I think, right? Number nine? Yeah. yeah. Good job, Belmont. Good job. Oh, St. John set. with a nice set there. Ball's out to the 14, spins it wide to the seven, to the 12. He's got room on the outside. Stays in, and the penalty to St. John Prep. So Bel Belmont sets up, it's there, but they drive it in and score the try. Wow. Yeah. 
were saying earlier, is so uh, that uh, points difference doesn't really make a difference. Yep. Still half the game, t uh, half of this half to go, quarter of the match to go. 28 to uh, Belmont, 17 currently to St. John's. So, St. John's uh, with a chance for another two points. So, some subs warming up over there, Peter. Yeah. Four or five of them. Sam Smith lining up the kick for St. John. And he's got it. Through the middle. So, that's... Uh, Makes it a nine point game with 18 minutes left. And Belmont will kick. Campbell with the kick. Game gone deep. Deep kick. In, covered well by Belmont. Get in! Yes. Tackled well there. Yes. So Belmont, Belmont won. Ball. Wow. Ethan Anderson powers ahead. Met by St. John. He took three St. John's though, so. It might. Oh, Moody picks and goes, does some good groundwork, and Kmar, and another penalty. That's a, the penalty count must now be, yeah, he's going And he's going, going for, for points. Posts. That penalty count is, is mounting up. I'm uh, surprised he hasn't had more of, a, more of a word. So John Campbell here with a chance for three points. For the first chance, uh, first uh, time even in the game, anybody's looked to kick for, for points, right? Yes. So this to make it 31 to 19. So. Uh, it's a good call. gives gives the chance to get a little breather. Yeah, it also Use eats up uh, two minutes of the clock exactly. probably. And uh, and certainly. Uh, crowd which was roaring a moment ago is silent. As is tradition. That's it, it's good. And the score is 31 to 19 in favor of the Bombay Waters. John Campbell. Ice in his veins. Sticking that kick cleanly through the uprights. He's got a great, a great boot on him. Yeah. Just great to watch. About 15 minutes left here and no let up. And that uh, thinking was, came from a pretty good chance and John's had uh, on there on the uh, on the Belmont try line, right? There's the kick. Sam Harris in the air. Passes it back. Oh, knocked on by Joe Altamari, unfortunately. And we'll have a scrum down. Scrum down to prep at the 15.
St. John winning the ball, spinning it out. And the knock-on. Yes. So uh, I think there were, there were two knock-ons. So, two knock-ons. Uh, so he had to, uh, had to call back for the first one, otherwise he'd have been quite happy to play advantage. Yep. Yep. Uh, again. Couple. <laughs> it, uh, Everybody's learning the rules as we go here. Man, there are a lot of rules to learn. It turns there, out. there are, there are. Any way ever heard of patience anymore? <laughs> <laughs> so, so Belmont with the good pudding, push that's by St. John Prep. Yeah. And the mm. penalty. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so that's interesting call. Uh, the heads came up first for St. John's, so uh, he gave that against them. That's gone, and gone, gone. Great. Finds touch. So it'll be Belmont throw in for the line out at the 45, 46. Uh, calling for the, the three, four man line out here. Yeah, Ryan Santoro for on for. Uh, yes, I saw that, yeah. That's Connor Shea. Handled well there. Yes. Sam Segarian Sam. runs in. Yeah, he was held. He was, he was held. So, uh, just fleetingly, yep. but he was held enough. That was a good call by the that ref. That was a good call by the ref. Number 12 slips away. Tries to get it back to the seven. To the five. St. John cleans ball, spins it out. Great tackle in the middle there. Who's that, 17? Nine meters out. The 10 takes it. Offloads to the 13 on the goal line. On the goal line. And a penalty. penalty. And the. He's over. Big number one no. is over. And right. finally. So, try is scored. Well, St. John certainly did the, uh, the best with their, uh, their chance there. That, that came from a turnover somewhere around the yes. Belmont 40 meter line, 40 yep. yard line. Ended up with a, with a try on the other side of the field. So, 31-24 the score, it's a difference of uh, seven points, so this uh, conversion is all important. Point game here <laughs> with, with nine, nine minutes, and a half to minutes to go. St. John very fired up, and the Belmont crowd now coming to life, looking to cheer their boys on. Uh, yeah, just a lot of noise. Ball comes on, and John Campbell once again to kick off. So, five point game. Uh, 
Nice kick. Well covered. St. John clearing ball in their own 22. Yeah. Moving it out the line quickly. Tackled well there. By Paul Muser. He's having a great game for Belmont. The big yeah, number one nice. offloads. High tackle. And a high tackle called. You could definitely see that As one from it here. Be. I'm not As sure it this is be. a yellow card. I think, yeah. He's going to... Uh, there we go. I think... Uh, no intent there, I don't think, no. but perhaps there's been a couple of them. And Brett. Uh, uh, yep. So Brett Westgate. He's off. He's off for the remainder of the game. Yeah, with seven minutes left. So seven uh, minutes left, Belmont down a man. Wow, the pressure mounts. And Arik Boynarian has come in the game for Belmont. So it's St. John put in, uh, throw in at the line out here at the 46. So we got an ideal, ideal view of this one, Peter. Yep. Right down the channel. There's the throw. Straight. And it's Belmont ball. Connor Shea cleaning that up, rocked over. Knock on, knock on, knocked, so scrummage. Knocked forward. So we'll scrum to Belmont. Okay, so. Uh, Belmont with the put into this scrum. I wonder, do we have seven in the scrum or eight? Looks like eight. I think it's eight in the scrum. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's our ball. Ah, I guess uh, if the scrum had been going better, we could have. Could you take one out? I can't remember. And, and move him to the back line, I believe so. Okay. The ref seen something perhaps he doesn't like. Ref just going around the other side of the scrum. Yeah, wants to, to have sure a word with the props on that <laughs> side, I think. <laughs> Little, maybe a little cranking, uh, cranking of the arms, or oh, St. No John wins it. One. Number ten lifts the ball over there and countered. Well, Bravo puts everybody on side and tackles well. That beautifully there. Yeah. <laughs> and the jawing continues between yeah. the fans here. Uh, five and a half minutes left, and John Campbell once again. A chance to clear the lines. Kicking for touch, and, and he gone. does it's find gone. touch yeah, beautifully. So it'll be Belmont line out. At about the 28, playing in. Playing into the shade here. So, five minutes to go. Come on, Belmont, one more try! Come on, Belmont! Yes, Belmont, come on! Spun out well there. Good win. Good tackle. Good tackle by St. John Prep. Those two are, yeah. Not releasing. And once again, didn't release. So Belmont back 10. And St. John Prep looking, look, looking to run the ball. Tackling as well today has yes. been uh, awesome. I'm not sure I've seen many that have been missed. Yep. Rucked well there, and again, St. John spinning the ball out. Paul Muser, another great tackle in close play. Yeah. 
Scrappy play at midfield, the number nine running across. Hands to the 20. Yeah. And again, far side of the field. St. John offloading. Quick passes. Yeah. No time, no time. And not at all. Close. So, three minutes play to play. To, uh, and scrum down to Belmont. Playing out from their own 20 uh, or 30. Like a 30, 30 yard line. Yeah. So very important scrum this, Peter, right? Crucial. Has to be a clean hook. Belmont still a, well, still a, will be a man down for the next two and a half minutes. Good clean hook. Belmont winning, Belmont winning. Yes, Ball's on. out. Come on, come on. Knock on. What? Knock and on. a penalty given. Yeah. Just one hand. That could actually be a yellow card. I don't think the ref is uh, yeah. tempted to give one today, yeah. but uh, given the mood. But uh, nowadays, if you don't go with both hands to try to catch the ball, That's then it. it's immediately a penalty. Very often a yellow card. Oh, the familiar position, John Campbell kicking for touch here. And he's made it. And That's he's a made great it. kick. Great kick. Yeah. And, and old. Two minutes left. Two minutes left. As people can see on the television, uh, on the TV, uh, Peter, but scrum caps uh, left oh. liberally all over yes. the field. <laughs> uh, nobody uh, bothering anymore. Nobody I always bothering. thought they were a little frivolous <laughs> myself. <laughs> So two minutes, less than two minutes to go. Two minutes, Five Belmont minutes coming in with difference. a difference. Belmont playing Belmont. a full line out here. Yeah. And Chris Lynch with the ball, disrupted. St. John powers ahead, balls out, tapped high, cleaned up well. The 14 runs across the field. Wow. Joe tracking well there. And he gets it into the 12. Looking to counter Ruck. Knock on, knock on. down by St. John Craft. Scrum to Belmont. Now one minute remaining. That was actually Sam Harris that did that. He, yes, you put so much pressure on him. He, he tried to counter Ruck. And, and put it was the enough, to, enough yep. to knock the ball out of the scrum half. Beautiful, hand. beautiful. We were Just talking so yesterday in practice yeah. exactly about how if we had the opportunity to counter up, we should really go for it. Yeah. No holds barred. Sam Harris did just that. Amazing that game. Belmont is still ahead, but you can turn on those type of things. And the Belmont crowd, everybody on their feet here at Curry College for the last 30 seconds. Milton gets the push, wheeling the scrum, however. So we'll scrum again to Belmont. Yeah. And the last 10 seconds tick off the clock. Play. That might be enough now for, 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 uh, be enough, David. for John Campbell to bury this ball into the spot yep. stand. Just depends if the referee has been keeping to that time. Good hook. Clean. Perhaps the referee drive. told him there isn't enough time left. Otherwise, yeah. John would have kicked that yes, to touch. Yes, indeed. Belmont. Just picking and going, trying to use up the clock here. Yes. Control, control, control. Support, support. There's the ball, support. St. John's. Call of don't lose it, Belmont. So the time is now gone. There's the kick. And there it is. The Belmont Marauders are state champions. Both the girls and the boys. Both girls and boys winning state championships today. Absolute elation from the Belmont team. Well deserved. A fantastic contest. 
from both teams today. Effort, intelligent rugby, tenacity, toughness, and Belmont comes away Final score, with the trophy. All the teams. Belmont 31. Trophy. Well done, Peter. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you all. And thank you to Jeremy, all the folks from Belmont Media, and our great Belmont Athletic staff. What a great season. Coaches and captains of Belmont High, please come forward to accept your championship trophy. Congratulations to both schools on incredible seasons. 